doing color i am doing color what in the heck so today we're here with sensational y'all i just i'm obsessed with sensational what lace series okay i would just buy that you that's one of the units i would buy over 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 again because y'all there are just they just too bomb okay but this is what the unit looks like straight out of the pack her name is zelina But this is the overall construction of the unit, as you guys can see. It comes with three combs in total. Comes with a pair of drawstring at the napes. They give us baby hairs. Y'all. So anyway, I decided to go ahead and put it on my mannequin head. Just so you guys can get an overall view of the back and the sides and all that good stuff. And this is the lace. Okay, y'all already know. They come in the clutch when it comes down to the lace. I'm here for it. Yes, I'm here. So boom, this is what she's given us when she is put it placed on my head and whew, she looking a little crazy right now. So we're gonna have to go ahead and fix her, but I did zoom in so you guys can see the hairline. So first we gotta take that hot comb girl because she is thick thick. I don't know what the density is of this unit, but she is thick. So I definitely need to go in and thin out this section. I wanted to pluck it guys. I really wanted to pluck it, but there was no room. It was not enough room for me to pluck it without the track showing. So plucking it is just not an option. Back. Y'all, I was watching Pretty Little Liars, y'all. Y'all know I have not finished the last two seasons. Six and seven, I never, ever watched. But anyway, y'all, I'm getting off topic. I'm finishing the last two seasons, and I'm about to cry because I'm actually on the last episode as I'm doing this voiceover. Y'all see me cutting off the, the lace that I don't need. You can cut as much off or leave as much on as you like. Girl, it is your world. Do what you do. I am going in with my ebon, uh, I was about to say tint. Oh, I did tint the lace off camera, y'all. I forgot to show that part, but I did go ahead and tint the lace. But anyway, I'm going in with my ebon supreme lace spray, and we're going to go ahead and do one to two to three layers of this. We're going to put our dryer on a cool heating setting, and we're going to wait till it gets tacky, okay? Once it gets tacky, we're going to pull her on down, and we're going to start securing her down. As you guys can see, I'm pulling her down and I'm making sure she is stuck. I'm going in with the back of my comb to, you know, look at that melt, y'all. It's melting right into my skin, okay? Now, with this lace in particular, I was super duper impressed. I don't know if it's just that they use different laces when it comes down to color units. But I feel like they didn't give me that white transparent tint of a lace um it was giving me a more of an hd vibe i'm not saying it's hd but it was giving me that because the lace felt nice and light um as a hd lace would it wasn't feeling like heavy and that thick type of material like yeah it wasn't feeling like there are other laces i don't know what that was about but i really love this lace on this particular unit so um yeah by the way this video was not sponsored okay i'll try i mean sensational did not sponsor me at all
we're going in with some cream foundation. I love to do the step because I feel like it just helps me get that extra meltage that I'm needing. I'm just gonna go in with my elastic band and we're gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes. I actually let it sit a little bit longer because I was eating, but that's neither here or there. <laughs> We took it off. She looking up. She looking okay. Okay. I'm. I didn't do the best meltage as I could do that. I know I'm capable of doing, but it's okay. Okay. Y'all see me running the hot comb back through the hair because like I still felt it was thick. Now I do want the volume to bump up the two middle sections that I normally do. Y'all see that a little bit, but as far as the size and stuff, I wanted it a little bit more flatter. So I did turn the heat up just a wee bit. Okay. I probably put it on the dial in between um, the five and the ten. It's a line on that hot comb. Yeah. But anyway, I'm doing a middle part today because that's how I was feeling. Like I said, this is not a full lace frontal. So it's like a wig with edges. I always say that because you have enough edges on the side to create baby hairs if you like. But that middle section where you see me doing that part in that, that's the most room you got. Okay. That's the area you can, you can do a side part, but it's, it can't be like a deep, deep side part because the tracks will start to show. But yeah, y'all. going in with that cream foundation once again and i'm just going into to define this part because baby if your your part is not defined it, it's a wig okay it's giving wiki we're going in to do my baby hairs because y'all know i am nothing without my baby hairs so we're gonna go ahead and take a little section out i try i'm trying to do a new method where i curve it more instead of doing it straight like a v or a line because baby them it just don't be looking right you know sometimes i'll be doing stuff and in that moment it looks right to me but then i started going back and i was like ew that's not even cute so <laughs> i'm deciding to you know make it a little bit more oval so it can just look natural and just flow okay that's what we want we want it to flow um, so once I get a little section, we're going to go ahead and cut this. If you guys are new to baby hairs, do not cut it short. Please make sure it's long and cut as you go because you, there's no coming back from that. Okay. I'm using my Bold Hold Liquid uh, Melt. Y'all, I never know the names of products, but check the description section. Um, I'm using that to do my baby hairs. I love this stuff, especially for synthetic units. I feel like um, got to be glued. The Black Bottle as well is a great um, gel to do synthetic wigs on so as you guys can see i'm just following up with my comb i don't know i like going in with the mini comb first or the brush and then following up with my rat tail comb because baby look at how that's swooping look at how that's swooping okay and for some extra security i'm just going in with my gut to be glue spray because like i said i'm going out in the heat and i don't want my baby hairs lifting today so they might look they might feel hard and crunchy but they don't look hard and crunchy okay and i'm also taking the back of my edge brush and just patting it down making sure everything is in place
So that's it, y'all. See, that's why I be telling y'all. I love me some synthetic hair because it cuts down my install times tremendously. Like, sis, the unit is already styled, okay? It's already done. But anyway, y'all see me going in with my wide tooth comb just to go in and form the curls the way I want. This is me detangling it for the first time as well. And I did get shedded and I definitely got some tangles. Y'all seen that as well as you guys are watching the footage with me. So let's just write this wig, y'all. This wig is a hundred percent out of a hundred percent because y'all this color look at this color i was scared y'all know i'm scared of color i'm scared of color if it don't have no roots but with my roots on there baby i feel like i can body anything okay y'all really have to give this unit a try okay and i don't even know if i said this already but if you guys want to see me um install not install yeah install the same unit in a different color which is 1b or 1 i have that link below because i actually already installed this unit in a different color before so i have that there below but this unit is the a1 y'all i'm obsessed it's so beautiful it's flawless and yeah y'all i hope you guys enjoyed and then to my next video girl we'll see you later bye guys